Never ever assume. Never assume. Never assume. I was sold a lie. Liverpool never win at Old Trafford. They never. Oh, they, what does that mean? I hate when people do that crap. There is no such thing as never in football. Once the referee blows the whistle, it's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. I hate whenever people use the whole thing of like, oh, they've never won at the stadium. They, oh, shut up. Tomorrow's a new day. Records are there to be broken. Nothing lasts forever, literally. For United, you really have yourselves to blame. Got to give credit to, to, to Liverpool. Because I never want to make it to seem, seem as if, oh no, they won because this team was crap. Yes, United should have done better defensively, but Liverpool, especially going a goal down and knowing how bad they've been, the mentality and the character they showed to go to Old Trafford, a goal down and win 3 1, shows huge balls. Their pressing game was on point, their attacking game was on point, they defended hugely, especially when the, um, they defended against Greenwood and, and so forth. This was a big, huge performance that showed incredible character. And again, it goes to show, what if Jota wasn't injured? Forget about the defense and so forth. If Jota wasn't injured, we have something different. How many clutch goals has this guy scored for Liverpool? He's scored so many clutch goals for this free, for this freaking game. It's, it's been crazy, you know? But for United, man, because I was doing the live stream with your boy Red Devil Studio. That's, so it ain't, it ain't Mama Maguire. Because I thought, okay, um, it's, Ma, it's Jeremy Maguire who is to blame. But no, it's not. That defense as a unit, I'm sorry, you bricked it. If you don't know how to pass from the back and you ain't pick Barcelona or your pick Spain, hoof the ball out. Hoof the ball out. United, Lindelof, of Fred, who are, you, who are you to be playing the ball out from, from the, on the freaking back? Who? Why? So for United, because it's about reaction. And I think that those goals they consider specifically, the second goal and the... Third goal, that just was poor defending. Crap, horrible marking on that allowed Femina to, to, to come through and stupidly, stupidly, stupidly playing out from the back when you don't know how to play out from the back, which was what led to the third goal. So, again, good nice goal from Rashford who came through and, and so forth. Um, but the, it, it goes to show that everything in football matters the attack, the midfield, and the defense. And the defense. And for defending, you need to be switched on from minutes 1 to minutes 90. Liverpool are now in a... This has just changed. I mean, because we assumed they would lose. This changes everything. This changes everything. First, last year on United, only going to share stability will not be enough. You best win that final against Villarreal. You can't just be here for vibes. You best win that final against Villarreal because if you don't, I will clown you. And he will deserve to be clowned if you lose to Villarreal. Liverpool, that just throws... I mean, this is crazy. They were supposed to lose to Man United. They were supposed to freaking lose. So, now, now because Leicester City play, play Chelsea, that's good for them. What's it called? Burnley, West Brom, and Crystal Palace? Oh, man. 